stay tuned. At the end of this video, we'll have an escapade that Wendy captured with our goats while I was at work. These 10 female quail are just about ready to go out to our quail hutch where the boys are. Just for fun, I think I'll post that video on Valentine's Day. Right now, I'm just going to remove their heat plate chick warmer so they can get a little more acclimatized to colder temperatures before we put them out there next week. Are you looking? Whoa, get back here. Are you looking forward to having a boyfriend for Valentine's Day? Wendy has started prepping the garden for spring. And as you can see, there's a lot of debris around our garden beds for me to pick up and compost. As usual, I'll be feeding some of it to the chickens first, but most of it should go straight into the compost. I thought it would be an interesting challenge to shoot this sequence on a 360 degree spin in one take. So there's no cuts involved. I'll just try and kind of be aware of where the camera is pointing and work in that particular section. I don't know if it's going to work out because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to pick stuff up or untangle tomato cages, run back and forth between the compost bins. We'll see how it goes. It is raining a little bit out here, but that won't bother me too much. I've got this umbrella set up here in the middle to keep the camera set up dry while I'm working. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think of this time lapse.
I didn't shoot any of it on video, but earlier today, I mucked out this chicken run and threw in some more cedar tree debris for the chickens to scratch around in. So today is your lucky day, chickens. New chicken run bedding and some snacks. to look out my window upstairs and I noticed this so I'm gonna have to run out there What happened to you? One goat seems fine. The other two. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> huh? Should mama let you out? Ugh. Need to clean this stall. How come you're not locked up? I'm smart girl, Mama. I'm the smart girl. Huh. Pretty. Okay. Let's set those other goats out. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Indigo. Well, I can't push the door open with you standing on it. Come on. Go. You dingy. You're such a dingy. <laughs> there you are. Oh my goodness. So silly. Were you all locked up? Hmm.
stuck. What did you do? Mm -hmm. One sad piece of news here at the end. One of our ten quail has died. It's not uncommon for chicks to die. In fact, we got ten of them specifically so that we could have a ratio of three to one for our three males with an extra one just in case one of the chicks did die. Earlier in the day, it had gotten itself stuck between the wall of the brooder and the raised platform that we keep the food and water on. And it was down there struggling a little bit, wasn't moving very much. I, I freed her up and she was kind of a little wobbly on her feet. And sure enough, later that day she did, did pass away. She just uh, was struggling a little bit and, and didn't make it. My dad has a lot of sayings. One of his favorites is people or things come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. One thing homesteading has taught me is to appreciate our animals for as long as we have them. <laughs>